Hello everybody, welcome to episode 8 of the Altengrad series. Last week we have finished the train station, well we didn't really finish it, but we started building this place which is the top of this square where we also started building a train station with just a single track going somewhere so that we can have some trains going in and we finished some of the monuments some fountains in this part of the square in today's episode we will take a look at the opposite side of the square we will kind of finish the entire square we will put some market buildings we will put some uh, new city hall building as well and all kinds of nice looking buildings and just make the place very very nice all right so right away you can see that I'm placing this uh, market hall building, which is actually a market hall building, I think, uh, from some real life, maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure, I haven't seen it. But uh, we are going to make it as some sort of a landmark in this part of the square. So we are somewhat in the center of the square, where I'm, I'm also placing one other some market building in there, and uh, we need to finish making this intersection for the trams and the cars and all that, and make this place very, very nice. So at first I was not really doing the market buildings in here, I really wanted to just put some tall, modern looking, again, we are, you know, somewhere in the past, so in this time period, modern looking buildings in here, but uh, they kind of uh, made the square very, very dark when uh, the buildings were very tall around the square. So I really wanted to have the square a bit more open and uh, have some slightly shorter buildings in there. And the market building, the market hall felt absolutely perfect for this. So that's exactly what I did. And I also made the market building uh, not like parallel to the rest of the blocks in here. So uh, this really emphasizes the, uh, the you know, let's, let's say, the landmarkiness of this building, right? So it's something special in here, right? You can see right away that it's just something special. I also used a second instance of that uh, market hall building and made it clip to the, to the original one to, again, kind of make it somewhat larger, just extend it and uh, just make the building uh, bigger, that's all. Make it more interesting. Now, as always, every time we create some uh, project uh, outside of the already finished city, we need to finish the places in between, kind of fill them with some buildings. So that's just a tiny little shot that I showed you there, that I was finishing the row of buildings on the main street, that, uh, the, you know, the city gate streets, right? So nothing really all that super important. Uh, we can already just, uh, you know, finish... Uh, that portion of the city very very fast. I'm not really doing that in today's episode but in the next episode I'm probably going to finish uh, the empty blocks between this place that we're doing right now and uh, the old town as well because there's not really going to be anything all that super interesting. It's just going to be the quantity that matters in those places, right? So we are on the opposite side apart uh, from the train station, we are on the opposite side of the square. So that's exactly this place. Now, the tram tracks are going straight through the square. And right when they reach this uh, city hall building from Prague, they are going to turn slightly around the building. I really wanted to have some sort of a, again, kind of uneven positioning of these buildings, not really in line with all these blocks, because that would not really be all that super interesting. And uh, the train tracks, uh, the, sorry, the trams, obviously need to go somewhere around those. I'm, I'm obviously using, again, those uh, streets, those uh, let's say, intersection types that I showed you in the tutorial video for the better intersections so that we can have nicer curves for the tramps and just the intersection itself is going to look better. Now, this entire place, I don't really want to spoil much, but uh, like I said, this series this series is about making changes as we go forward. So when we go forward in time and when we reach some, uh, let's say, 60s, 70s, something like that, you know, well into the future, actually, from this point, then this place will see huge changes. I don't really want to say at this point exactly how this place is going to change. I don't really have it figured out myself that much, so uh, it's going to be kind of a surprise even for me, I suppose. But uh, we are going to see a lot of changes. So intentionally, in some of these blocks, I'm intentionally not putting all that super nice buildings in there because I don't really want to uh, make those blocks all that, uh, let's say, necessary or What's the word that I'm looking for here? Well, I'm just going to make these some of some of some of these blocks, some of the buildings in here, in this particular place, in that square, so that uh, they can be demolished and no one is really going to mind that much, right? So we can have something new happening in those places again as we forward in time. Not really 
right now. But I'm not going to spoil anything, so you're just gonna have to wait until we reach that time period, which is probably going to be well into the future as well. I mean, real-time future, right? Not just in the series. Uh, so we are probably going to see some changes even to this street, the tram street that you can see right there, which is probably the main street that goes around the old town. Now also, I should probably talk a bit more about why am I not really putting the old buildings in this place, because we are technically in what used to be the old town already with, let's say, one half of this square. Now there is a real life reference for this in, in Prague, for example, but I'm pretty sure that in other cities as well, where there is some sort of an old town, but uh, it doesn't really have all that super old buildings in some parts of it. And uh, there are different examples than just Prague for this, but uh, basically it might have to do with, um, you know, fire just broken, uh, breaking out in some of these parts of the city, so they completely needed to be reworked in maybe 19th century or something like that. Or maybe it was just a, it's just a planned thing to demolish some parts of the really old parts of the city, just to just make way for something, something new. Right, so that's kind of what uh, I imagine happened in this part of Altengrad, in this part of the old town, where the market square is right now, but uh, or market square and the city hall, for example. But it wasn't always the case. There probably was some some uh, high density, almost medieval-like structures in this place, and they probably got demolished. Uh, I don't know, 18th, 19th century, something like that. Probably, probably a bit towards uh, towards these times. So late 19, maybe. Right, so this is going to this is going to kind of dictate how we need to for, uh, progress forward from this square. So we need to create some more orderly streets from the square into the old town. Obviously, where we want to create those slightly modern buildings with more with more openness, with more green spaces and stuff like that. Because if some sort of a reconstruction, a rework of an area like that happened, then it probably would have been like a one big project, right? So it may makes sense that it was planned ahead and everything was nice and, you know, even, right? Every, every streets were like parallel and all those kinds of things. So that's probably what I need to keep in mind. So that's just a plan probably for the next episode. So in the next episode, we are definitely going to go back into the old town and finish all the empty spaces there. Probably not the entire city, uh, the entire old town, but uh, probably the vast majority of it. Anyway, back to this place. So you can see that I'm uh, really struggling with uh, with this uh, with this intersection, especially with the surfaces again. Obviously, that's a common theme again for all of these episodes. Now, this was this was a really difficult intersection as well. And uh, well, obviously because I made it difficult, I could have made it a lot simpler, but uh, oh well, it just happened, right? I was just building stuff and uh, Again, that's again a common theme for the series. I'm just going to build something and later I'm just going to curse my uh, my past me because I just made it so much difficult for me to create the surfaces. So that's exactly the situation in here. And in here it's a lot worse because these uh, these uh, areas in here, for example, uh, you can already see that uh, the, the cars are not going on the tracks, right? Parallel to the tracks. They are kind of bypassing the tram intersection because that's intentional because the tram tracks on one portion of, uh, of, the, of the intersection are not going from like a car road, but they are going from a separate tracks, right? So obviously they need to merge somewhere and the cars just need to go around all of this. And you know, it's just a complicated intersection. You are probably going to see, uh, it, see, see the intersection in a lot more detail in, in the cinematics to understand it better. But the point is here that I just needed to make it so that the entire place is not all that even. It's not straight, like uh, it's not flat, flat, that's the word, right? So decals in here are absolute nightmare to work with. You can already see the unevenness of the terrain somewhere in there. The cars are somehow not really going all that super straight on these roads as well. But uh, it's just a tiny detail. But uh, what's more important is that these surfaces are really impossible to work with. So I decided to start using this technique where I'm basically putting two, of, two decals of the same kind on top of each other with procedural objects but one is going to be higher and the other one lower. And if the, if the flickering of the textures is going to happen, then since the both of the decals are exactly on top of each other, you're not going to see any difference, right? But uh, one decal is going to be basically covering the upper surfaces and the other one is going to be uh, lower, underneath the tracks, for example. 
But at this point in the building, I was seriously starting losing it. So I decided to do, to do a huge decision that's going to impact uh, all the future episodes of Altengrad. I finally decided to switch the concrete texture for the pavement uh, to some cobblestone texture. You can see that all, all already in here. Now, this is a huge thing that I did not want to do and I still not sure, I'm still not sure if it's the right decision here because I basically completely got rid of concrete. I cannot build a single concrete surface anywhere in the city anymore unless I switch for the concrete back. But then I'm gonna lose the cobblestone and it's gonna look, you know, bad in these places. So, what can I do in here? Well, I can obviously download maybe some props for just concrete. I think I have some concrete slabs uh, as props, so I could be using them theoretically. Maybe even some decals, but uh, you know, I don't really want to use decals for concrete because the main point for using cobblestone is that I don't need to use decals for cobblestone anymore. So I don't really want to just create, you know, more problems by solving one problem with the cobblestone, right? So I think I'm going to do this by simply having the cobblestone absolutely everywhere on these surfaces and simply when we're gonna advance in time, I don't know, 60s or something like that, then we're just going to completely ditch the cobblestone and I'm going to switch back into concrete. And some of these sidewalks will simply just, you know, just change into concrete suddenly and uh, that's just how, that's just how it needs to be. That's that's the that's just how it needs to be. That's all, because uh, I cannot really use both textures at the same time. I cannot really switch some of these roads to have uh, cobblestone texture for the sidewalks and some roads that can have cobblestone uh, uh, concrete as the sidewalk because it just doesn't work like that. You only have a single pavement texture and you just need to choose which one you're gonna use. So in these episodes we're just going to use the cobblestone and I'm also thinking that maybe I could uh, just uh, switch between cobblestone and pavement for certain cinematic shots, you know, that I can probably do cinematic shots of the old town with the cobblestone and when we're gonna advance in time then I could probably just switch it and, you know, cheat a bit like this so that uh, we can have different surfaces for different cinematics. I suppose that could work, we will see how it's going to be. Anyway, uh, while I was explaining that I almost finished everything, every single surface because it's now super easy uh, in front of this uh, market building. So we just need to detail it with a lot of planters. I also put this fountain for example in here. We're gonna put a lot of benches. This is by the way probably the longest uncut shot that I ever did in the time lapse. It's, it's, uh, it's just in one quarter right now so it's gonna be a lot longer. We're gonna finish the entire detailing around this market building. So a lot of planters, a lot of flowers and all those kinds of things. We are going to do the similar similar kinds of detailing uh, on the rest of the of the square and uh, also one thing that I didn't mention I already put the tram lines into the extension of this square. So in the cinematics we are also going to see the tram lines as well. I had to move the the tram depot which is uh, right now not really uh, in its uh, correct position as well because uh, I really want to build a tram depot but I want to wait a bit until we advance further in time because I don't really have all that super old uh, tram depot buildings. I could probably make my own but they won't look as good as I would like to. So I do have one specific building for tram depots but that was built in real life in the 30s or something like that. So I'm going to wait until we advance a bit further in time so I can build it properly and just call it, you know, historical or something like that. Historically accurate, let's say. And we are probably going to incorporate it in some different parts of the city anyway. It probably wouldn't be located in the old town where we are right now. So as you can see, almost almost finished with the detailing. Uh, putting uh, one particular kind of benches, the, the old looking ones, and all kinds of tiny little details. For example, the lamps, the, the kiosks, and especially the columns, the columns for posters, which was like a like like a Facebook of the old days where uh, some uh, some important announcements were were uh, were glued to and people could obviously read them and gather around all these things and so on and so on. Uh, for example, the First World War was declared uh, to, the, to the population or announced to the population using these, these kiosks. So you can see all kinds of old movies where people gather around these and, and are just, you know, uh, not really happy about it. But uh, yeah, so I'm putting those uh, absolutely everywhere, but that's probably going to disappear 
as we progress further in time. I don't really have one one good uh, like a kiosk, like a newspaper kiosk. I have some, but they have some weird commercials on them on the textures that uh, kind of imply that they are very modern. So I'm not really all that super excited about those. So I'm just going to use these kinds of details. If you know of any kiosks from uh, this time period that I could probably use, then do let me know because I'm in in a real need for something like that. Now we also need to finish the rest of the square, the, the kind of uh, connecting part between the train station uh, portion of the square and the market square that we just built. I was not really sure what to do with this place, so I just kept it green because, you know, if you don't know, then just put some trees there and it's always going to look good, right? So that's exactly what happened in this place. But anyway, guys, we are nearing the end of today's episode, so I thank you for watching it. I hope you liked it. If you did, then you can always put a thumbs up underneath the video, share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Take care and goodbye.